Is this enough TVs for you? <laughs> Here's the information on the back of the TV. I thought it was interesting. The set was manufactured in January 1991. And it's a CTC 157H is the chassis. LXI, the series L, LXI, which was sold by the Sears and Roebuck Company, or most commonly known as Sears, way back when. <coughs> that was arranged by the array of controls this still has on the back of it. And notice that uh, these controls and mostly never have never been touched as far as I could tell. They were packed full of dust. This said, as far as I'm as far as I'm sure my grandmother t has never told me that it's needed serviced. I, and I believe it's never serviced. Okay, here's a series of Alex and I branded T V. These were sold by Sears way back in early nineties. This set is from 1991, actually made in January 1991, and uh, it uses a CTC chassis. I, I did a video of it just a minute ago, and I'll splice that in. I, I did a video of the rear sticker. I'll let you look at that. But uh, it uh, it hasn't exhibited any kind of symptoms up until recently. This used to be my grandmother's TV set, and and uh, she had it up until she passed last month and uh, I decided to bring it home today and uh, I'll show you this listen I want to show you the, the sound of the Degaussian circuitry in this maybe you can hear it It normally makes a pretty good womp sound when it turns on. But if you notice, it's not uh, detecting anything on the auto programming. That's been a symptom of it recently. But uh, if you change man change the channels manually with the remote, which I don't have right on hand, it uh, it works. See, it just just stays on channel three. And I'm noticing here lately that the buttons down here are not as responsive as they really should be. There's the volume controls. And it displays the channel number when you press the volume controls on the TV. Some of the folks in the area were today preparing to reopen the stretch of that great city that will sadly forever be known as something of a crime scene. Ann Thompson is in Boston for us tonight. Cautiously it's been showing signs of capacitor failure. Normally, usually when it turns, when I turn it on, there's some sort of lines around the top inch of the TV screen or so. And uh, sometimes when you turn it off, it turns right back on. <laughs> Which is one of the weirdest symptoms to me. I don't know if it'll do that right now, but we'll see. Here's the display button, which just shows the channel number. Police officers escorted the casket of Sean Collier. Video button doesn't seem to be responding too well. <laughs> That's what the settings were on. Ever since a very young age, this is what he's wanted to do. 
He did it. I mean, he, he worked his tail off. And, he and the really buttons are real finicky right now, so they probably need cleaned. Boston University remembered Chinese <laughs> graduate student Lu Ling Zi last night. You're a beautiful girl. A cousin translated hmm. her father's words. Last night, showing on your hometown. Okay, there's the reset function that's on there. Lighting up your path to heaven. Yeah, there was the controls probably need cleaned on a little bit there. Let's see. I don't have the original remote for this set. It's long gone. And uh, I don't even have the uh, remote from the Dollar General handy, so that's uh, there's no way of demonstrating that. Let's see. So there you go. Yeah, sometimes after this set's been on for a long time, it'll. You know, kind of, kind of symptom is refuse to turn off more or less. You have to try about two or three times to turn it off. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. God bless you.